In this video, I'm going to be performing a search on the topic of student-centered learning versus instructor-centered learning. As always, I'm going to start in my Pima and I'm going to click on the Library tab. I'm going to scroll down to Articles and Databases and under Browse Databases by Subject, I'm going to pick from the list controversial issues. Once we're in controversial issues, and there's three databases here, one is Opposing Viewpoints and Context, the other one is Points of View Reference Center. I'm going to click on Points of View Reference Center, and you'll probably need to log in if you're at home. Once you're in the database, this is Points of View Reference Center. I put my search in student-centered learning. And this is important in this database. I really only need to search one side at this point because it's a controversial issues database. So you're going to get both sides by searching one side. So now I'm in Points of View Reference Center. I did the search student-centered learning and these are the results I received. I'm actually going to scroll down to the fifth result and I'm going to click on that result and when I'm at this record I notice that in the abstract it talks about student-centered assignments and how they're very useful and so I can use this article now this article doesn't look like it's here but it is the PDF is right here so if I click on this PDF that will open up the article. So here's the article. If I want to email the article to myself, over on the right side is the email function. So I can open that up and I can email the article to myself. I would put my email in here. I would check to make sure I'm getting the full text. I would check to make sure it's MLA. I'd click send and that would send me the article. I can also go back to the detailed record or the article record. I can also over on the right click on cite and this opens up the various citations. And so what I can do is scroll down in citations and I can copy this citation out. Now I'm going to move to a larger database. So I'm going to click back into my Pima and in Mega Search, our discovery tool, I'm going to click on Advanced Search. And when I'm in Advanced Search, I'm going to put my search terms in. And this time I used both search terms student centered learning and teacher centered learning. Now in Mega Search, I want you to notice that there is a left side column. So you can change the publication date, you can limit to scholarly, you can limit to different formats, notice academic journals and magazines. And so when you see magazine next to an article, that means it is a magazine article. If you see academic journal next to an article, that tends to be more scholarly, a scholarly article. So I'm going to click on the third article, and that's going to take me to, again, the article record. And from this record, I'm going to click on Cite. And then I'm going to copy this citation out. I'm going to copy out the MLA citation. I have a Google document open, so I'm going to paste it into my Google document. I'm going to remove the highlight. And then I'm going to apply five rules. First, I'm going to give it a hanging indent under Format. Align an indent, indentation options. Under special, I'm going to say hanging and apply it. Then I'm going to make it double spaced. 
I'm going to make sure that the sources are italicized and there'll be two sources. The database will be one source and the magazine or journal that the article comes in will be the other source. The best way to say this is not source, but where it comes from. I'm going to italicize where it comes from. I'm also going to check to make sure nothing is all caps. A lot of times what will happen is an article will come in and it'll be capitalized like uppercase such as that so you want to make sure it's lowercase we're gonna make this title case notice that then I always want to make sure that they're in alphabetical order so this is only one but if you're putting multiple sources in your works cited list you want to make sure they're in alphabetical order so this was a brief tutorial if you do have questions you can always email me or alexis or ask any librarian through libchat or libanswers and you'll see that information in a second